Welcome. The subject of this video is going to be the electronics theory and programming behind my Arduino battery charge controller. This project was put together mainly to demonstrate some Arduino programming and some basic transistor theory. This picture should look familiar if you've seen my other videos. Down here once again is my battery power box that I carry around for camping. I can boost off the car and etc. Uh, there's a 400 watt inverter. It goes in the box along with a 35 ampere hour battery. What we're going to be focusing on up here is that is in the upper sort of left center corner is the Arduino battery charge controller. You see the solar panel connections and the output goes down to the terminals on the deep cycle battery. I already did one video illustrating how the box works. Now we're going to look at the internal electronics and the Arduino programming itself. Alright, let's take a quick view of the box itself again. Uh, so we'll know where the components are when we look at the schematic in the next slide. Over here is the input switch. There's the fuse. There's the Arduino controller. Here is my RS-232 connection to connect to a laptop. This is a tricolor LED that I call status. Uh, the schematic will illustrate using three separate LEDs. Doesn't matter because they work the same way whether it's a tricolor or three separate LEDs. Here is my power MOSFET that switches the uh, solar panel voltage onto the battery. 5 volt regulator. This B out LED it tells you it's, it tells you the voltage going to the battery and if the battery is even connected depending on the circumstances. Finally, down here at the bottom, we have a current sensor based on an ACS 712 module. Of course, here's a switch SW1. That is the battery connect disconnect switch. Okay, we're going to look at this schematic. This is the schematic to the box itself. I just blew it up just a little bit for you to see. Let's study the circuitry on this schematic in order to understand how to interface to Arduino. Let's start here on the left. This is the connection here to the solar panel. This is my 5 amp fuse. This diode here, D2, if you can see D2, is put in here in case the input voltage has been reversed somehow. It will blow the fuse and protect the rest of the circuitry. Let's move along the top. This is a 5 volt regulator. It's one of the 3 pin 7805 types. It's not what I used. I used a switching regulator, but this will work the same way. Continuing along the top to the right, you will see three LEDs. One is red, one is yellow, one is green. And they are connected to digital pins 10, 11, and 12. In this configuration I have tied the anodes of the three LEDs to the 5 volts. That's the way my tricolor LED was made and that's why it's done in the manner that it's done. If you look at here a low output on digital pins 10, 11, or 12 will light up the corresponding LED. Remember, a low will light up the LED. Let's move on back down here to switch 2. This is the input switch. It's, this is wired a little differently in the box than in the schematic, but it does the same purpose. It will uh, cut the input voltage from a power pack on and off. That's not illustrated here. Let's look down below the switch through here you'll see a 15k resistor in series with a 2.2k resistor and we have a connection that goes out 
to Arduino's analog digital input zero. This is what I call VN, capital VN. This enables Arduino through the voltage divider to read the input voltage from the solar panel and make various decisions whether to indicate the battery's too low, I mean the solar panels are too low, and whatever. Let's put that back. If we go here to the other side on the output towards the uh, battery, you'll see an identical voltage divider, 15K, 2.2K, and it goes out to analog connection 1 on the Arduino. That's called VBAT, or the voltage on the battery. I'll show you a little later in the video what you will be seeing in the serial monitor on the Arduino. Let's step back. Okay, we looked at the 5 volt regulator. We looked at these indicator LEDs. Now we're going to come to the heart of the circuit. In the middle is a um, positive channel power MOSFET. Here's your source. It goes back to the solar panels. Your drain goes to the battery through SW1. That's the battery connect switch. Um, to the positive post of the battery. And of course the gate here goes down to a NPN bipolar transistor Q1. And through a 2.2K resistor to the base of Q1 we connect to digital pin 3. A high on a digital pin 3 will cut on Q1. It will switch on to ground. You notice there's a 10K resistor that runs from the source to the gate of the power MOSFET. When Q1 cuts on, the gate of the MOSFET is going to go to about a half a volt. And thus the MOSFET will be cut on and we will have the charging voltage go through the current sensor, which you don't see, which is on a separate schematic, and then to the battery, assuming switch one is closed. Let's look at a deal here with this power MOSFET. This particular one has what is called a VGS, that's voltage gate to source of 20. If I have my solar panels put out something like 12 to 18 volts when they're normally running, so I'm safe. I can have um, a voltage difference between gate and source of under 20 volts. Uh, what if I had a 24 volt system that I had two solar panels in series to give me 24 volts and then two batteries in series to give me 24 volts? You would blow this transistor. There is a way to get around it. We will look at it in another slide. How to get around that. Finally, what's left here? Here's your uh, battery out LED. It's connected across the output. It's just a LED in series with a 10K resistor. So briefly to reiterate, voltage comes in here from the solar panel. Assuming switch one and the path is on, voltage divider on the input, that's going to be VN, let's go to analog pin 0 on the Arduino. Digital pin 3 cuts Q1 down here on and off. That enables me to switch the uh, p-channel MOSFET on and off, and assuming this switch is closed, send the voltage to the battery. When this is turned off, Arduino will read the voltage coming from the battery through this resistor network, and it will be on analog to digital 1, and it will calculate the battery voltage, uh, the battery voltage, and it can also read and calculate the voltage coming in.